Ferrari Sebastian Vettel appeared to be a bit agitated over the radio during the first half of the race at Barcelona, especially when he was asked if he could go all the way on his second set of tyres. Many felt that this was just a continuation of the alleged friction between Vettel and his team. The involved parties have now cleared the air. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, selective broadcast of radio messages painting the wrong picture at Ferrari, claims Bonotto. Vettel began by explaining how it is easier to judge things in hindsight and why he was ready to take on the risk of going to the end after only a single pit stop when almost everybody else opted for a two-stopper. We certainly talked about it and there are always things you can do better. On Monday, it is very easy to judge whether something was good or not. The important thing is that we took the risk because we had nothing more to lose. In the last few races, Vettel would often sit silently during the final laps while his team communicated information to him, so much so that they would need to do a radio check to get an acknowledgement from Vettel. Vettel gave his thoughts on this. From my side, it's no different than it's been. Sometimes you talk on the radio, but you see each other the whole day, so you can talk the whole day. You don't need to talk on the radio all the time. Nothing has changed. A lot was made of the radio exchanges between Vettel and his team during the Spanish Grand Prix. Team principal Mattia Bonotto has explained that things aren't as grim as people might think, as only a small part of their radio exchanges were broadcast. It's normal for you to communicate with each other, and I think it's weird for you to judge how it happens since someone else decides which messages you hear and which you don't hear. You never have the full picture. Bonotto concluded by elaborating on the nuances of communicating with a driver during a race and the importance of asking questions which he feels can be misunderstood. Sometimes questioning doesn't mean that it's a misunderstanding. I think questioning ourselves by communicating is important finally to get the right choice. To be open on the radio when you're in the midfield, sometimes it's difficult, but just making sure at least just by questioning, again, we make the proper decision. Fast feed. Sebastian Vettel pointed out you don't have to be a genius or a rumour expert to know that there aren't many seats left. He's also sure that he will receive a good package as he wants a good car with which he can participate in the front. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner finds it incredible that Max Verstappen has got so much capacity to have a long conversation on the radio during the race. It's like he's on a Sunday afternoon drive. McLaren's Carlos Sainz feels that their ability to put on a fight with the racing points during the Spanish Grand Prix is something they can still feel relatively proud about. His teammate Lando Norris feels that maybe he should have taken more risks during the Spanish Grand Prix as it's very difficult track to overtake on. Lewis Hamilton broke Michael Schumacher's all-time record for the highest number of podiums in F1 and has commented that it is far beyond what he dreamt as a kid. He further added that Michael is an incredible athlete and driver and he always feels really humbled and really honoured to be mentioned in the same light as a driver like him and Ayrton. Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly revealed he lost quite a bit of time when he was stuck behind Magnussen, Ocon and the guys trying to one-stop. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has revealed they had a few electronic problems in the data during qualifying on Max's car, which is why they had to put the old engine in to be on the safe side. Max Verstappen, meanwhile, revealed he doesn't expect a victory at Spa after the ban on engine modes and feels that if they continue like this, they can at least get good points again. And former F1 driver Jolian Palmer is of the opinion that driving a lap with seatbelts undone in Formula 1 seems like the most dangerous thing you could possibly do in reference to Ferrari Charles Leclerc. Are the Ferrari Vettel relationship woes being blown out of proportion, or are they a fair assessment? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.